Get ready to match the stars. George Kennedy, Brett Summers, Charles Nelson Riley, Loretta Swift, Richard Dawson, and Betty White. As we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game 76. And now, here's the star of Match Game 76, Gene Ramers! We must stop meeting like this. Thank you for joining us. You're going to have a good time because the Look, lunatics can I are just loose. Show you what, what he's doing now? What is Don't doing? show the brand. We'll get in trouble. Show, show how a sick woman pours club soda <laughs> with a cap on. Just look at that. So they let the nation see what I'm living with. <laughs> First she tried to open it, then he tried to open it. They're not strong they, like that. Now let's yeah. watch. There should be music under this strongman music. <laughs> Okay, Bree and Larry, are you ready? Yeah. She's done very well. How much money have you won? Seven hundred dollars, right? right? Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> you didn't you remember that you won seven hundred dollars? I knew I won some money. You did. That's enough. Now she won two games, and she's going to do the second half of the Big Money Super Match in a moment or so. And we wish her the best of luck in that. And we'll do that right after we do this. Nice to have you with us again. Here's Bree and Larry's won our second game, and we're going to have a go at the big money now. Ready? We polled a recent studio audience, Brian, and we got their best response to this. Blank pads, P-A-D-S. Oh. Remember, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it. Two fifty dollars for the um, second most popular response. Then $100 if you hook up with their third most popular answer. Let's see what help we'll get from our celebrities here. Betty? Launch pads. Launch pads, okay? <laughs> Brett, uh, Brett. Knee pads. Knee pads. But I wear constantly when I'm scrubbing right. floors. Sure you do. And George. Uh, elbow. Elbow pads. Elbow pads. So you got elbow pads, knee pads, and launch pads. Now you can reject all three of those and give us a peachy answer of your own if you want to. Or you can choose one of those. What would you like to do? It's up to you. Anything you say. What? <laughs> oh, knee pads. Knee pads. I know, but I... What do you think is a better answer? What? What? Corn pads. What? Corn what? pads. Corn Note pads. Note yeah, pads. scratch no. pads. No. All right, Brian, you've uh, chosen knee pads. Let's see if it's up there, and if so, where? May we see the $100 number? Lily pad. It was that kind of bunch, oh. eh? Well, the flower lovers were in that day. May we see the $250 number? Yeah. Knee pads it is. Congratulations, you. You got another $250. High up to $950. And it'll be uh, kind of weird if the audience is right, isn't it? Shoulder pads. Oh, hot pads. Boy, there are a lot of good ones here. Okay, Earl, slide it. Shoulder. They were right. I Joe, they were right. I never even thought of that one, did you? Okay. Smart audience out here today. They had it right from the... We'll sit down there. Oh, yeah. You want to come up here? We'll sit down there. You do the show there. Okay. Now, you got two or fifty. You pay for, play for ten times that amount, or 2,500. And you have to choose one celebrity now and make an attempt to match that individual exactly. Betty. Please. Okay, Betty. Here My we go. My record has not been the That's great. Right, kid. I got faith in you. Oh, what? bless your heart, Brian. <laughs> you got faith in her? I got faith Let's in get her. it together, girl. All right. <laughs> Stand on the adhesive tape there, on the shoulder pads that are, we got on the floor there. Here it is, worth $2,500, and it goes as follows. Venus blank. V-E-N-U-S blank. Venus blank. 
All right, Brian. Betty's made up her mind. We ask you to give us a response which you think will match hers. Get your ESP flowing to her and tell us what she wrote on the card. Venus... De Milo? Venus de Milo. You say it with a question mark in your voice. Because I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Venus de Milo is correct. Well done. She says Venus de Milo will match you for $2,500. What do you say to that? We have three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. We congratulate you, and we're very happy for you. And Brian, you're going to meet another player right now. And if you've got it together, we'll uh, bring on Kay Henry. Kay Henry. Hello there. All right. Hey, you know Brian. Now, Kay, we welcome you and ask you to tell us the Kay Henry story. Okay, I'm a homemaker, and I have three. Beautiful children, Kristen, Jason, and a brand new little bicentennial baby, Ryan Patrick. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations on all of those activities. <laughs> and the best of luck to you here. Now, Kay, we'll ask you in a moment or so to make a selection, but right now we got to do a little business with America. We'll come right back to you. Hurry back. Here we go. Now, you may have a choice of A or B, Kay Henry. I'll take A. You want A? And we got a new game going here. Okay, Everybody will play. Wild, man. King yeah. Arthur said. Ah. Oh, I love King Arthur. He said, <laughs> he talked a little funny. He said, yes. he said, I don't like that Arabian sheik. King Arthur said that. Yes. He said, I don't like that Arabian sheik. He moved into the castle next door and turned it into a used blank lot. <laughs> I don't like that Arabian sheik or sheik, as they used to say in those days. Sheik. Terrific. You got it. Uh, do you know I thought you said Gene Arthur? No, King Arthur. <laughs> Moved into the castle next door. No, I understand it. Now that now that I know it's now that I know it's a, uh, what it is, I understand. You got it. Good, it's oh, adorable. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> Oh, what are you doing down too. there, you dirty lady? Get out of there. Oh, I was trying to tie your my shoe. Head. Oh, aren't you sweet? Uh, Thank you very much. My okay. shoe's untied. <laughs> All right, ready. Here we go. Okay. Uh, All right, Kay Henry. King Arthur said, I don't like that Arabian sheik. He moved into the castle next door and turned it into a used blank lot. Camel. Camelot. <laughs> She said he turned it into a used Camelot. 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 Yeah. Sing a little song, George. Camelot. This may come as a shock to the world. Camelot. Oh. You are improving. Your cold is getting better. Yes. What do you say, Charles? Lot de Camel. Camelot. Okay, Henry, you've matched three of the celebrities in the upper tier, all of them, in fact. And now we come to Loretta Swift. Whose head is somewhere else? I thought it was a harem lot. A harem lot. Turn into oh, a used you. harem lot. More fun. Interesting idea. Like what do you say to that? I say Camelot. Camelot. Yeah. What do you say to this? The rain may never fall till after sundown. Yes, there's a song. Betty, well done. That's five for you, Brian. Let's see how you do with yours. Hey, did you see the new book at the bookstore? Uh-uh. Let me tell you about it. It's the thinnest book ever written. It's called The Collected Wisdom of Blank. <laughs> the Collected Wisdom. What is it? Let me say. It's the thinnest book ever written. Thinnest book. Yes, it just came out. <laughs> I got a book. <laughs> okay, they're just about ready. I'll stroll over here to Brian Larry. Brian Brannigan Larry. Bannigan. A Bannigan. B A double N I G A N. Oh, they're finished. No, not finished. You finished, Brett? Yes, Dad. Okay. A new book at the bookstore. It's the thinnest book ever written. It's called The Collected Wisdom of. Brett. Brett? <laughs> Brett? I know. A rather oh. hostile thought directed at you. What do you say to that? No. 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 Not Brett, right? No. no. Howard Costell. Howard Costell. <laughs> A good one. The collected wisdom of... I'm going to get you. Betty White, Alan Ludden's wife. Yeah. <laughs> They're married, you know. Hello, Charles. The Collected Wisdom of Brett. 
You see, let me explain. Tell me. Like, adorable things like when she tries to pour the club soda through the cap still on the bottle is called a breadism. They're a adorable. Breadism. Yes, they are adorable. <laughs> She's a sick woman. <laughs> but you're okay, Charles. Everyone's out of step but me. Loretta, what do you say to this? The thinnest book ever written I just called I'm trying to think of the dumbest person I know, and I said Mortimer Snurd. Mortimer Snurd. He wasn't too bright. Yes. Okay, Richard. I didn't say Brett. You didn't say Brett. No. I said the lady behind me. <laughs> <laughs> now, Betty, we're looking for... It could have worked either way. He could have been sitting this way, too, you see. He'd be... yeah. Oh, yes. He goes both ways. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, <Known> for Gene. <laughs> and now, Miss Betty White is on. Just because Folks, like pay attention that, to Miss Betty White. I'm going to turn the other cheek. I simply said Brett Summers. <laughs> All right. So the score now is five to three. <laughs> And we go to round two, five to three, in favor of Kay Henry, who now has her choice of A or B. I'll take A again. A again. Now, let's see. There's just one person. Who is it? Laura. Oh, uh, hello the there. Pressure. You remember me, don't you? Yes, yeah, the one with the girdle. Right. That's right. <laughs> Stephanie said, I'm taking classes at Bernie's School of Burlesque. It's wonderful. Whenever I do good, Bernie puts a gold star on my blank. Okay, you ready? Stephanie said, I'm taking classes at Bernie's School of Burlesque, and it's wonderful. Whenever I do good, Bernie puts a gold star on my blank. Rear end. Rear end. <laughs> All right. I suppose there were two ways to go here, the upper extremity or the lower extremity. Did you choose either or neither? I said G-string. G-string. That does not match her answer. She said rear end. So, we've got to stop right here now before we give you your second round question. You've got a match two to tie and three to win. Right now, we've got to do a little business with America. We are ready to carry on here. Now, you know what you have to do, Brian. Yes, I do. What? I've got a match. All my people. Two to tie, three to win. <laughs> All right, here we go. George and Brett play, and Loretta plays. Fred said, boy, was that airline rotten. At dinner time, the passengers in first class got egg drop soup, while the passengers in coach got blank drop soup. That's a rotten airline. Yes, of course. A rotten airline. At dinner time, the passengers in first class got egg drop soup. The passengers in coach got blank drop soup. Wonderful name, Brian. Brian, yes. Yeah, it's a lovely name. It's spelled B R B R I A N N E. Here you go. Fred said that. A rotten airline. You got it. Okay. Okay, Brian. Was that airline rotten? At dinner time, the passengers in first class got egg drop soup, while the passengers in coach got blank drop soup. Bird. Bird drop. Now, you want chicken egg drop or you want some other kind of soup? What do you want? You want one from column A? Oh, bird drop soup. That's very good. That's one for her score now, five to four. What do you say? I say she sings like a babe. A bird drop soup. We got a tie score now. So you've achieved the tie. You get one more match here with Loretta Swit, and you win another game. Show and tell time. I said bird's nest. Bird's yeah. nest. No. Bird's Nest? Yeah! Good. All right, that wins the game. Come on down. Congratulations. So you hang around there for a minute or so while we say goodbye to Kay Henry. We'll be going to send you some gifts, Kay Henry, and it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Goodbye, Kay Henry. Bye. Thank you. Now, Brian, here we go again. There it is. We polled a recent studio audience, remember? We got their best response to this. Blank beaver. Now, the answer they gave most often is worth $500 if you match it 
250 for the middle one, remember, and 100 for the bottom one. You've been here before. You know how it goes. Choose your celebrities. Loretta, please. Eager. Eager Beaver. There's one. Richard. A favorite show, Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver. That's good. And Charles. I chose uh, Gene uh, Busy as a... Busy as a Beaver. Eager Beaver and Leave It to Beaver. Those are the three. You want one of those or have you got one of your own? Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver. Okay, it's the one that uh, Richard gave you. We'll find out if it's up there and if so, where. Let's begin down at the bottom, Brian, and reveal the $100 response. Busy Beaver. Well, we kind of had that from one of the celebrities. Let's see if we get Leave It to Beaver under the $250 number. Eager Beaver. This looks pretty good. I think it's going to be up there. Don't you think it's going to be up there? Yeah. All right, Earl, show and tell. Yes, sure, Congratulations. Now you're over $4,000. And you're going to play for 10 times the amount, or $5,000. But remember what you have to do to go get the money. You've got to match one celebrity. Brett, please. Brett. Oh! <laughs> Brett, you are no longer sick. Right, I'm a well woman. You're a well woman. Okay, here we go with Brett for $5,000. All right. Get your ESP going over to Brett now. Blank Park. Blank Park. P A R K. she's from, can I? No, you can't. Just write an answer. Get your ESP going over to her. She's got it flowing over to you now. Come up with the same answer. <laughs> now, she's finally finished, Bryn. Okay. All right. There it is. Blank Park. What answer do you want to give us you think will match hers and collect the $5,000? Central. Central Park. Well, Brian, I agree with you. I ran through every one of them in my mind, and I said, well, that's the most famous park in the world, and I, if I were playing, I'd write it, and I hope you wrote it so she gets if the money. If I'd only known that she was from the East, I would have said Central Park. Ah, you said it! Congratulations to you, Brian. You've really uh, got a lot of loot here now, and you're going to meet another player, so let's welcome Carrie Shore. Hi, Carrie. As soon as Carrie will welcome you and ask you to tell us the Carrie Shore story. Okay, I'm originally from New York, now living in Los Angeles. Yeah. And I'm married. I have a yep. lovely wife, uh, Kathy. And I play soccer, ski, and play beach, beach volleyball. Beach volleyball? Yeah. Where do you ski mostly? Uh, in California, up north, Mammoth. I know. see, yeah. All right. And would you have said Central Park? Is she? Uh, were you playing it in your mind back there? I probably would have. Central, Central Park? Yeah. Being from the East, I guess uh -huh. you would. But she's not. Where are you from originally? Providence, Rhode Island. Providence, Rhode Island, but not New York City. You <laughs> no. did say Central Park. Well, good for you. Now, we've got... We found out about Carrie Shore. We can't start the game at this instant. We've got to do something else, and this is it. Well, listen, we've got just about a minute. It's uh, not quite enough time to do a question, so we're going to ask you to hold everything until we get together next time. Look forward to seeing you then, all right? Okay. You were dandy. Yeah. <laughs> You've done it again. Don't forget to watch for Loretta Swit on MASH. Night. No, the Blue Knight, yes. <laughs> Or are you on the Blue Knight? Exactly. You're on the Mary Tyler Moore show. Yes. He's yes. on the Blue Knight. Yes. She's yes. on MASH. Yes. And they're all yes. wonderful. And you can buy the Belle of Amherst in recording or in, books, in your bookstore. No kidding. Oh, yes, it's published. Hey, that's good wonderful. news. She did the whole thing? The whole play. On two LPs. With Brooks Atkinson's comments, which are wonderful. 
How marvelous. It is true. Well, well okay. when you sell it on Family Feud. I was going to say, if you, if you bought it, you would save having a Family Feud, is what I was <laughs> going say to say. Say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, Gracie. Join us next time for Match Game 76. Team Raven here. For 12 people, if their horse comes in, their dream comes true. Come on, horse! American Dream Derby, where fantasy becomes reality television. Premieres January 10th at 9, only on GSN, the network for games.